hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be sharing my braids maintenance routine i recently got my braids done in nigeria but i got them done i think during january i put the exact date here and my hair has lasted me about three to four weeks already without washing it and i know people will probably be thinking oh that's a bit disgusting or whatever but i usually do not wash my hair when i have braids in my hair because it helps to maintain the hairstyle and my scalp doesn't really itch that much as well so but usually what i do to combat itchiness um like flaky scalp or like a lot of like sebum on my hair i usually use my can to shea butter dry co-wash spray and it's basically like a dry shampoo spray and i'm just going to quickly show you guys a clip of me um using it and how i like to use it on my hair hey guys so i'm just going to quickly show you guys how i use my dry co-wash slash like dry shampoo on my braids so basically wherever my hair feels greasy or where i feel like my hair needs to be washed i just quickly just spray my hair like that. Like this area here gets really itchy because that's where like I put gel and stuff like that in it. And it just like helps the oils and like the sebum that's like on my hair to kind of not be as greasy and stuff. It's like, it gives you a fresh curl wash for a couple days and then I'll do it again. So now that you guys have seen that, um, I basically do that maybe once a week or every other week. I don't like to do it too much because it can dry out your hair a lot. But when I'm not doing that, I like to use a moisturizing spray. The moisturizing spray that I like to use is the Afrocentric Sheen um, Moisturizing Hair Spray and it's infused with aloe vera and yeah, it just helps to hydrate your natural hair. So I really, really love this. I got this like a sample in like a bag for an event that I went to and I've just really, really been loving this. It's very creamy and lightweight and it really feels cooling on my hair. So I'll spray my hair down with water and then I'll spray some of this on and then I will put some of my henna hair growth oil or just regular olive oil if I don't want my hair to be too too greasy but today I'm finally gonna wash my hair I'm not gonna wash my hair proper proper like a regular wash day routine but I'm gonna um, shampoo my hair a little bit a little bit because my hair is getting quite dirty especially like on my hairline area because i use a lot of got to be gel creams and all of that stuff and i really need to get that gunk out of my hair i have shampooed my hair like the hairline bit once yeah i think it was one time but i i like to do that when i'm in the shower quickly put some shampoo and just like scrub it because obviously the build up will cause acne and I had acne on this part of my hairline and I don't want to get that again. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of my um, Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Shampoo into this bottle with some warm water because my hair is low porosity and I'm going to spray that all over my hair and I'm just going to massage it real good and then I'm going to call my mom over. I'm not going to show this part because um, this part is very difficult to show. It's not like my regular wash day routine. Show my hair in the, the shower bit. Um, so I'm going to have to get my mom to hold my hair up, up like this for me because I don't want the ends of this um, braided hairstyle to get knotted and tangled because obviously as you guys can see that this part of the hair is very, very curly and I don't want that to get matted. So I will get my mum to hold like the braids like this while I wash my hair. So I'm just going to scrub it in the shower like this and put some water on it 
like this because I only want to get my roots because my roots is the only place that is dirty not my ends like my ends are fine and I'll just moisturize everything after and I'll show you guys the moisturizing process but I just quickly want to show you guys how my scalp and everything is looking after like three to four weeks because I do plan on wearing my hair for another month if I can because I really just want to grow my hair out in this hairstyle and I'm lazy and the weather's cold and my hair needs to be protected so yeah this is what my scalp is looking like at the moment as you guys can see it's just looking like this it's not that bad I do have flakes like in this part of my hair and like the bulbs for where my hair has actually grown out so yeah this is what my hair is looking like So I've just finished washing my hair. My scalp is super, super clean. I've only used like shampoo on my hair and I'm just gonna quickly moisturize my hair. And I'm just gonna use a little, a little bit of this because I don't know how well it goes on your scalp. So I'm only using a tiny bit and I'm gonna use my other moisturizer as well. Yeah, it's gonna take this much. I'm just gonna put this all over. All over my hair. And I'm gonna put it on the braids too. Chicks, um, moisturizing hairspray. Told my brothers one day we gon' make it. We just gotta grind for that paycheck. Mama told me one day I'll be famous. Remember? Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my um, hair growth oil. But when she uses it, so she hates us. That ended with life when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists So one day I'll be stomping on those stages But right now we're just dancing in the So this is basically my usual moisturizing routine Except I don't shampoo my hair but I've just shampooed it Right now what I'm gonna do because my scalp is a bit damp I am gonna go in with my Dyson um, hair dryer to um, dry out my roots a little bit um the rest of my hair is fine it's not wet or, or anything and it still looks the same and it just saves you a lot of drying time so this method is a lot easier if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of time and you don't want to put a lot of tension onto your scalp yeah, yeah, yeah. baby come and talk to me So passionate like Jackson, five heart beat temptation. Girl, don't keep me waiting. I love you, that's Cupid. That's okay, you guys. So I have finished, and this is what my hair, my scalp is looking like. I still got a little bit of conditioner here, but that will dry it off. But yeah, this is what my scalp is looking like. As you guys can see, it's very clean. Mm. Yeah, it's just quick and easy so you can just literally do this within like 20 minutes and then you're done and then just to set it so like all my flyaways are okay i will just use a scarf i hope you guys liked this video if you did keep give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>